Do you want to cost money when you're making a film more than anything? Huge thing in a production budget is moving people around. If you're shooting today here at Regents College and you're shooting tomorrow down at Piccadilly Circus, even though that's not that far in geography, you need to take all the camera equipment, all the actors, all the crew, and you've got to move them down to Piccadilly Circus. And what if you want to shoot in Brighton? Now you've got train fares, hotels. It gets very, very expensive. So this is the quintessential script that launches every single career in America of writer-directors. This is what they tell you over there. Take 12 actors, take 12 kids to a house, chop them up. <laughs> now what is happening there? Two things. A, one location. And by the way, I call Regents College, all the different rooms, and the park, and the walk down to Baker Street. I call that all one location, because you can walk, you can store equipment here, and easily walk within five, 10 minutes. I call that one location. <coughs> so that's one location. And the second thing they're saying is genre. People don't talk about genre enough in the movie business, especially in the low budget realm, because genre is key. When I'm when reading scripts, and by the way, I only read now with my producer's hat on. I've got five uh, scripts in development right now, development how one to keep going and coming and going and so on, all low budget. By so low budget, I mean micro budget and no budget. One's 100,000, one's half a mil. Uh, uh, what I keep telling people is that they have got to think about how the, what the dynamic is between the story and how you're going to make it. If you're using one location, is not your story essentially a stage play? How many have watched, uh, in America it's PBS or one of the arts channels here, where you see a piece of theater filmed on television? Is there anything more sleep-inducing than a stage play that looks like a stage play on television. So that don't work. But what you're looking for is essentially a stage play. Isn't Reservoir Dogs essentially a stage play? Got the warehouse, Tim Roth's apartment, and the restaurant. A little bit out in the street running around. Three locations. Isn't it essentially a stage play? But the trick is, when you film it and shoot it, it becomes a movie. Now, what's the difference between a movie and a stage play, you might ask? Well, the confines of the frame, be it this one here or your television, is, means on a stage play, everything's inside. When you have a movie, it sort of bursts out of the frames. The emotions and the visual images are so big that you can't contain them within the frame. So you're always trying to think how to take essentially a stage play and put it into a movie. Have any of you seen the new movie Buried, the American Indian? That was shot not in a room, but a shot in a coffin, the whole movie. What could be more of a stage play than that? And yet it is a movie. And by the way, it's an audacious piece of filmmaking. Go see it.